Well, it's Tuesday. It is. And we're, we've been on a roll. We have. Doing engine kits. Yes. And so uh, I may even break these up and not put them all up at once just because we don't want to overload everybody. Anyway, I, we'll see how that goes. But last week, if I don't rearrange them, we looked at the most sought after engine kit of all time, the Visible Wasp. Wow. Originally by Renwall and then later by Revel. And uh, they made another visible engine back then Ooh, that was made word. by Ren Hall that's equally sought after. And I had bought two of the 60s versions that had been built badly. And I had a notion to fix them up and, and do something with them. And I thought between the two, and I still didn't have enough parts to really build one. And then along comes like 1982 or whatever when they re-released re it as part of the History Maker series again. Oh, wow. So I bagged myself a couple of them. Mm. And I have one of those two left. Like an idiot, I sold the other one. I'm not an idiot, but I got uh, somebody offered me too dang much money. Well, yeah. And that happens. That happens. And so I let the other one go. But I still have this one. So uh, here it is. The turbine, uh, it's actually a turboprop, Allison turboprop. Ooh. airplane engine so it's the whole turbine engine oh my. Uh, like you would have found in some of the experimental trains and that sort of thing but unlike the trains and the automobiles and everything when they started putting turbo props in airplanes well that actually worked out because you don't have to worry about anybody walking around behind your jet engine <laughs> no and if they do that's their own They're done. sad luck and it's very similar in so many ways to just a jet engine. Wow. It's just that it has a propeller on the front of it. Hmm. And I have actually flown in, in several different turboprop airplanes, They're just regular passenger planes uh, hmm. from, from the day, you know, yeah. from the 70s or the 60s. And uh, toward the, and I, you can't even see the end of propeller because there's still passenger right. planes that, that, that run on propellers and they're probably all still turboprops. This is mm -hmm. just sort of an earlier variant an earlier on that. Version. But it even has a variable pitch propeller. Oh, wow. So that you can work that just like you would on a regular turboprop airplane. It builds up. It's quite large. It's, wow. it's maybe uh, 16 <clears> inches <throat> long or something by the time you get it all put together because it's got the transmission and the mm -hmm. torque shaft and the working propeller and... And all of those things. And then it isn't a visible kit like so many of the Renwalls. I think this one wasn't Renwall. I think this one was Revel always because it doesn't have any clear parts. It just has removable panels. Oh, okay. So if you want to see, the, see the, the compressor blades and all, because it has all the internal workings, everything wow. that you would find in the actual engine. And you just remove the various panels and you can look inside the <laughs> engine and see all of those internal workings. <laughs> wow, that's neat, wild. Neat, and so that very, very sought after on the collector's market. Neat. Just, just like the Wasp engine is. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, you want to become a subscriber to the channel because then you're cool mm -hmm. and you can watch more Tuesday shows and Sunday shows right. and the occasional Friday show and Wednesday show, just whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then you'll be notified whenever we do upload something because other than Sundays and Tuesdays, we don't follow any regular schedule and we just do what we want to do when we want to do it. And, yeah. then, and then that's that. So <laughs> we're notorious for that. Oh, uh, yeah. So you want to subscribe is the bottom line. And you want to go over to the channel and binge watch. Yes. The easy way to do both. Are we yes. ready? Here we go. Zoink! We'll make you a subscriber. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with Driving Around. Yeah, we'll see, see you. Bye. Bye-bye.